Hallo zusammen und willkommen zu einem neuen Part von Let's Play The Walking Dead Episode 3. Wir müssen zu Ken die Botschaft überbringen, dass es so weit ist, dass sein Sohn stirbt. Stop the train. Kenny. What? Ken. What the hell's that? The beginning of a walker. He'll be fine. We get to the coast and maybe meet up with people who have this shit figured out. He won't be. He's going, Kenny. What is the goddamn deal? He's a little sick, but we can't just quit. It's a scratch. He's not like the others. Jesus, all y'all are just making it worse. This isn't about Doug. It's not about my son dying. What the hell do you know? You're not my friend. I don't hate you. You sure as shit haven't done anything for me. You couldn't save Herschel's son then, and you can't save Duck now. Shut your mouth! So you're running like a coward. I told Kaja I'd get you to stop this, and you bet your ass I'm gonna... If we don't get along, I'm not letting you do this to Cat and Duck. You want to hurt people because you're afraid. Losing Duck ain't enough for you because you're fucking lose everything acting like this. I'll fucking kill you before I let that happen. It's... I think it's time. The boy's been bit, in case you haven't figured that out. Take as long as you need. There ain't no time left to take. What are we gonna do? We can't allow him to become one of those things. But what if... what if he doesn't? Kenny, I love you very much. I love our son more than life itself. I need you to hear me. What you are saying, that he may not turn, is foolish. But... No. There's... Come on, Cap. If you think of one, you let me know. Isn't there some sort of pill or something we can just give him? Stop it. We can just drift off to sleep. Right, hon? I mean, Jesus, this is our son. I know. But we know it's here or nothing. Oh, fuck. Just who, then? You want me to? You don't have to. I'll do it. No, you don't have to. God, you fuck. I, I, I can. I can do this. I'll do it. No. It should be apparent. No parent should have to do something like this. Well, he's right, Cat. We can say our goodbyes and 
Just let that be it. I don't know. V, you'd be doing this family a great service. Why don't we take him into the forest so Clementine doesn't have to see? Yeah. Give us a moment to say goodbye. Of course. Dying. I know. What are you doing? I'm putting him out of his misery. Oh. Yeah. Look, Clem. Things are. What the? No! Finn, take Clementine into the train. Go! It'll be fine. She could. She, 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 she just. Oh, 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 fuck! Katja hat es nicht ertragen können, aber ich muss es vollenden. Auf Wiedersehen, Doug.
Hey. How you doing? I don't care what reason you had for doing it. No reason to go and tell my girl she's gonna end up dead. Because she is. I don't know much about you folks, but I can tell you as sure as the sun's gonna come up tomorrow. But y'all keep going on like this, and that girl ain't gonna make it. What do you know? I know that you don't have a goddamn plan. We get to Savannah, and then what? We find a boat. You think that's a new idea? You got even the foggiest idea about where you're gonna find one of those. Look, sit down with the girl and hash it out. Find a map, for Christ's sake. I'd give you one if I had it. And if something were to happen to you... It won't. If it were, you gotta prepare the girl. Teach her to use a weapon, and for crime, and he cut that hair. She's a little girl. And she'll die a little girl if you treat her like one. You gotta consider her a living person. That's it. You're either living or you're not. You ain't little, you ain't a girl, you ain't a boy. You ain't strong or smart. You're alive. Look at her hair. You got her running around with a mop that's gonna act like Velcro to any hand swinging its way. Find some scissors in my pack and take care of that hair before a walker does it for you. And then show her how to use a gun. Because like it or not, that's what saves your life from here on out. I don't mean to tell you how to do your job. But too many people have died already. They have. And seeing another little girl die might just do me in. I hear you. A plan, a haircut, and a gun. It's good advice. It's something. Where are you headed? Uh, that way. I mean when we get to Savannah. Got a few ideas. We'll have a talk when we get there about whether or not you folks want company. I shot the kid, you know. I suppose someone had to. What a mess. You said it. You have any family? Out there, somewhere. Been sort of on my own for the past, oh, 14 years now. Sorry to hear that. No one to blame. You're homeless then? Eh, suppose. I've had homes here and there, and well, they just don't work out. I like a drink, you know? Yeah. Got any? No. Darn. Be safe up here. You betcha. Chuck is in Ordnung. Er hat schon recht mit den Sachen, die er sagt, dass man ihr Kämpfen beibringen muss und so weiter, weil sie sonst keine Chance hat. Aber irgendwie kann ich mich jetzt nicht bewegen. Ah, man kann das nur ansteuern. Mind if I get by you for a second, Kenny? Can you just leave me alone? Sherry haben wir mal gefunden. He's lived here a while. Alkohol auch. It's a fifth of whiskey. Sollen wir mal mit der kleinen Clementine reden? Hey, Clint. Did you talk to him? I did. He had some, uh... He explained himself and made some good points. Look, we're not gonna let anything bad happen to you. But there are some precautions we have to take. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Don't worry, sweetheart. Okay, what should we do? Well, we're gonna figure out a plan for when we get to Savannah. Teach you how to protect yourself and, uh, tidy up a little, so you can't get grabbed so easily. I'd like that. Good. What do you think about Chuck? I don't know. Me neither. He might be an okay guy, though. You think? We'll keep an open mind about him. He's probably had it pretty rough. You need 
to know how to protect yourself. Like hiding or running away? Got it. I mean, with one of these. First, don't be afraid of it. It's just a thing. Take it. But know where your finger is all the time. And don't put it on the trigger unless you want to hurt somebody. Okay. Okay. See? It's not scary. It's heavy. You'll get stronger. To aim, you look right down the top, through that notch. Line up the sight at the end with your target. Is there anything else I should know? I know these are just bottles, but you have to aim for the head. I know. Only the head. Unless it's not a walker and it's someone trying to hurt you. And then? Head or body. Anywhere. I don't want to think about that. You're right. It might be a lot for your first day. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Oh, es gibt ein paar Schießübungen, damit die kleine Clementine, auch wenn es schlimm genug ist, dass ein Kind schießen muss, Good. auf sich selber aufpassen kann. Okay, let's take your first shot. Squeeze the trigger smoothly and I'll cover your ears. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. You okay? My hands hurt. I don't like this. Let's stick with it, okay? Do I have to? Yeah, you do. more to the left. Okay, a little higher. A bit to the right. Aim lower. Right I got it. Excellent. Good shot. Go nice. See the richtige Scharfschützen. I did it. Yeah, you did. Good job. I just pretended they were walker heads. Good, just like you should. They're not walkers, though. No, far from it. But you know how these things work now. We'll graduate you to walkers one day. Okay, I feel good. Not so scary, huh? Nuh-uh. Nachdem wir jetzt Clementine das Schießen beigebracht haben, werde ich wieder eine Pause einlegen. Ich danke euch fürs Zuschauen. Und wir sehen uns bald wieder bei Let's Play The Walking Dead Episode 3.